Good day fellow investors, welcome to the long-term value investing channel. However, what is long-term? And that's something I want to discuss because I get so many comments when I mention long-term investing, when I show those long-term charts, and then I get comments like, okay, 50 years long-term investing, what if you are in your 60s? Life ends with 85, so how can we think long-term? How can we invest long-term if at some point life ends? And this is something I really want to discuss because Warren Buffett is 90 and Charlie Munger 96 and they still invest for the long term. But I think in long term investing is not about putting your money into debt and forgetting about it. Long term is just thinking, having a mindset that comprises long term possibilities and opportunities and risks and that putting that into the current perspective and then seeing how it fits your requirements. And that's what I really want to discuss in this video. Because some say they are 40 years old, no time for long-term investing. And that's a big mistake because the only thing what works is long-term investing, even in the short term. And that's what I want to discuss here because if not, if you're not thinking long term, then you're gambling, then you're risking too much, no matter your investment horizon. And that's the key to understand. That's the key of long term investing is thinking long term and applying that to the current situation, risk and reward. And I hope I can explain this in that video. It's a little bit tricky, but stick till the end and I'll give my best to really explain this in detail. We'll go through some examples and if you like this long-term investing mindset, please click that like button. Also George says, I appreciate the videos but I don't have 50 years left. It's not about 50 years, it's about thinking what can happen and investing in that way. No matter whether you have one year left or 50 years left. So long-term investing doesn't mean buying something, no matter the price, holding forever and forgetting about it. That's part of it. If you find a great business at a fair price that keeps on giving, keeps on improving, keeps on delivering, and the price remains fair as the business keeps delivering, then that's it. That's the real long-term investing. And you find a few opportunities in a decade like those. And when you find those, you invest and you are happy and then you keep reinvesting the dividends depending on the price compared to your long-term fundamentals. Because long-term investing means thinking of what can happen in the next six months, year, three years, five years, 20 years, reward-wise and risk-wise, and then seeing how it fits the now, the current, price. Let me give you two examples. So in 2018 I went analyzing solar stocks because I looked at the long-term trend for solar stocks, made an industry report, analyzed 38 solar stocks and bought one in 2018. Because I was looking at the long-term solar trend I was looking at what's going on, how there is expected growth, how the market fundamentals have been growing, growing, and I was looking for opportunities in that sector. Plus, I looked at the solar sentiment and you have then long-term fundamentals and you have the market sentiment, the short-term orientation of the market. There was a lot of exuberance in the late 2000s about solar stocks, then nothing happened, the crisis came, it was still okay, but then 2012, nobody cared about solar stocks, little boom, then as it didn't deliver on expectations, profits were still low, costs, etc., down, nobody cared, bad sentiment in general, and especially in 2018, when China also lowered subsidizes, there was a lot of panic, stocks were down and down and down. Only in 2020, everything exploded. So we have a stock or a, a sector that went nowhere for 15 years, but the long-term trend, the fundamentals were 
positives. And then you compare this long-term trend with the market prices, you see what and where you are from a fundamental perspective, what can happen in the next 10, 20, 30 years, and then if it fits your fundamentals, then you invest. Just a comment, now everything is exploding and no search interest for 10 solar ETF and now that it exploded the highest search now everybody is looking for solar stocks and this is exactly the opposite of long-term thinking and the trend is still positive but now when I compare it to the price now I'm not that attracted here I was looking at businesses that were giving 15% business returns and growth and everything now it's three four five percent which means high risk in the long-term trend and if it comes back to 10% with growth then I might look again at it. So this is long-term investing. This is what you look at the risk and reward, compare it to the price and then you see how to make your investment decision now, now. And the key is when you look at these stock prices and value, that value usually unlocks between two and five years, maximum seven. So long-term investing, yes, but it is for the now, and then you watch that value unlocking. You are looking for low risk, low risk of permanent capital loss, based on strong fundamentals, based on good entry prices, over whatever happens in the long term, low risk now. So no matter whether your horizon is 5, 10, 20 years, you look at low risk now and then all that is left is upside. And you can see when the sentiment is bad, you see that it takes perhaps a year, two years, three years, but then it usually unlocks. And then you check again the fundamentals with what you have bought, 80% up. Then again, let's say 2017, you thought it was cheap, Okay, three years have passed and then the value unlocks. So three to five years is usually the time span when the value unlocks. Why three to five years? Because the market is so focused on the short term. They start getting focused here and then momentum, 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 and then they forget about long term fundamentals, push it, and sooner or later, it unlocks. If there is value, the market will start catching it up, seeing it, and then pushing it higher in exuberance, and then later over the typical market cycles. Up, down, up, down, up, and down. So the market is always looking for next year, higher demand, higher investment infrastructure now that will last for a year or two and then again subdue into normality. Similarly, 2015 till 2019, 20, I was very bullish on copper, made a video, made an article. You'll regret not having copper in your portfolio. If we look at the copper miner, also very cyclical exuberance very bad here is where i started being interested in copper bought some stocks then nevsun if you remember the early subscribers was taken over then other stocks and did really well here missed part of the upside but that's normal on value investing because we are happy for low risk we buy too early we sell too early but we make low risk, high return investments by looking at the long term trends, putting into a current perspective. So when it comes to long term, Warren Buffett always says, don't buy a stock if you're not ready to hold it for at least 10 years. So you have to look at the fundamentals, at the long term fundamentals. Worst case scenario, Am I happy to hold this? It doesn't unlock, doesn't anything happen? Am I happy with the dividends, with the cash flow, with the growth, with the business strength, with the business opportunities? Am I happy with that over the long term compared to the current price? That's long term investing, not about waiting 50 years or something like that. If that happens, that the stock keeps on giving year after year over decades, then great, then you have found the holy grail. And if we find five of those in the next 20 years, then Buffett-like returns are there. 
And that's what we keep looking, keep having the mindset. But the key mindset is that this is real investing, looking at the fundamentals, the long term, thinking about whatever can happen. What if interest rates go up? What if this go happens? What if taxes go up? How am I positioned? What's the margin of safety? And this is long term investing for me. Also, I explained this why Buffett bought pharmaceuticals, why Buffett bought Verizon. He's very happy with what he is seeing now, no matter what happens with these stocks for that portfolio exposure. Nobody knows, not even Buffett, whether the stock will go up next week or in the next three years. He's happy with the dividends compared to his other opportunities. And he likes the risks of permanent capital losses over the long term. As a business owner, you invest in long-term businesses and of course you take advantage of the volatility. The volatility is the value investor's best friend because Mr. Market, market participants are exuberant. We have recently seen the tech boom yesterday. So they are momentum. They look for those stock price gains. But we focus on boring long-term fundamentals. We accumulate wealth over the long term constantly, just a bit, bit higher, 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 and everything is much easier like that. The key is low risk because it leads to high reward. If I find the fundamentals long term and I look, okay, very little can go wrong, then on what's left is only upside. I don't know when the upside will unlock, maybe three years, maybe 10 years. But if I like what I buy now and I like being an owner for 10 years, I like the dividend now for the long term also, that's long term investing. Not, oh, I will be rich when I'm 85. No, it's about how the long term impacts now. So I hope I have given you value with this. Click that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.